Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. We are continuing our discussion on Thiruvarot Payan, verse number 22. Rather, verse number 2 from Irul Mala Nilai, the third chapter. The characteristic of the darkness, characteristics of the ignorance, characteristics of the bondage. So that is what we are going to talk about, which is the second verse. The second verse goes this way. Irulanadu andri, iladu yavayum, yega porulahi nirkum porul. It is basically an analogy that our guru is using. When we want to know something which we don't have an idea about, the easiest way to explain that is with an analogy that we are all familiar with. So show them an example of what we know and then try to explain the stuff which we don't know. That is the simple psychology that our traditional gurus have been using all the way from Thiruvalluvar. Now this verse is also designed in the same way. So, so here the guru is talking about two things. One is the darkness that we are able to see. We are able to understand that there is a darkness in the night. The absence of light is darkness. We all know that. And when darkness comes in, if you look at it, it literally swallows everything and anything in this universe. Am I able to see a plant, a tree, a human being, an elephant, a tiger, whatever it is, all the way from a small little uh, ant, all the way to a big dinosaur, nothing can be visibly seen during the night. Everything is uh, just in, in the darkness. So the darkness is covering up everything, literally everything. Now imagine the same situation. There is something called as darkness which is even more subtle than the darkness that we are seeing and that darkness is called as Arnavam. And this characteristics of this Arnavam is it's almost similar to the darkness that we are seeing at night. This particular darkness which is called as Arnavam encapsulates almost all the living being. I, I don't think I can use the word almost, literally all the living beings. It can be any kind of human being, it can be any kind of animal, it's literally any kind of life, any kind of soul is entangled in this Arnavam. Now let's imagine a situation. When you talk about Arnavam, the literal meaning of Ar Arnavam is ignorance. Imagine a situation we are feeling so happy about something. Why are we feeling happy about it? Because of ignorance. We feel that we have achieved something and so we are feeling happy. When we feel sad about something, why are we feeling sad about something? Because we have a feeling that I made a mistake or I have been suffering or whatever. That's the reason we are having that sorrow. When we are angry, what is the reason for that angry? Again, that is also because of ignorance. We are angry because we feel that the situation is not under our control but we forget that all the situation is under control of the Almighty. The ignorance is the one which is making us feel angry. Why are we crying? Because we feel that we are in pain and we don't trust the Almighty is there to help us get rid of this sorrow and bring us out in a hell and healthy manner. If this ignorance is going away from us, that will be the success. That is where at least we have realized that, that there is a darkness and we need to get out of this darkness. And that is what today's verse is all about. He talks about the physical darkness that we are seeing and he is comparing that with the innate or the subtle darkness that is covering all of our mind and thought and you know the, the intellect and whatever we call it and we are immersed in ignorance. That is what we need to get out of, get rid of but it is not going to be that easy. It's possible only with the grace of Almighty. Such a lovely verse, very insightful verse as well. I'll come back again with the next verse very soon. Until then, bye-bye.